So here we're going to look at getting the edge view of a plane or lamina. And the edge view, if we look here, we have a surface. This surface is A, B, C. Now, as you can see, I have the vertical plane and the horizontal plane in as well. That shows the relationship of the plane to the vertical plane and the horizontal plane. Now, we need to get an edge view. An edge view is when we look in and our plane becomes a line. There is an infinite number of different views we can take in order to get an edge view. However, I'm just going to show you one that will work for us today. So, I'm going to go here to two window view. And just make sure, I, yeah. I want to have my elevation here and my plan. Okay, so I have my two views here now. I'm going to just get out of rotate. Just click on my view here. Now, this point here is in the middle. So, I'm actually just going to sketch a line from this point all the way over to the other plane. Now, that line, if we look at it, this line in my elevation is a horizontal line. Because it's a horizontal line in my elevation, in my plan, the same blue line is a true length. Okay? Now, what that enables me to do, I'm just going to exit that. You can still see the sketch. I'm just going to go back to one window view. I rotate. If I get this line now and I look into it so it becomes a point, that gives me an edge view of my plane. So my point becomes an edge view. So what that actually means is, if I come here, I have my plane drawn in my elevation. And the reason I'm picking C is because it's in the middle. If I was to draw a horizontal line from A or B, it wouldn't touch either as my plane. So from C, I'm going to draw a horizontal line. I'm putting this in color just to highlight it. It cuts the plane, sorry, it cuts the line BA at this point here. So we're going to bring that point down to my plan to get the corresponding point. In my elevation, this point joins the C. So likewise, in my plan, it's going to join back to C. Now, as I was saying earlier, because this line is parallel to my horizontal plane or my X one Y or sorry X Y line, this has to be a true length. Now, in order to make a line into a point, you need to look into it. So we're going to stand here and look in this way and bring our points parallel to my true length line. And my X1, Y1 line is going to be perpendicular to that. It's very important to be label our views, x1, y1 line. Now, this is an elevation. This view down here is a plan. So this one has to be an auxiliary elevation. The only difference between an elevation and an auxiliary elevation is they are different views. From my elevation, I'm standing here looking in. From my auxiliary elevation, I'm standing here looking in this direction. Because this is an elevation, I'm going to take my heights from my original elevation. Very important that we label and index everything in these questions so we don't get confused between different points. Now, when I go to join my three points together, my plane becomes an edge view. So I now have a plane as an edge view. Always label these things, okay? And that's how we find the edge view of a plane.